Hello folks, and welcome to the Stream Deck Audio Mixer plugin, a dynamic volume mixer that reflects the Windows volume mixer with process icons. This allows you to control each independent process as they open and close with the ability for volume up, down, and mute. There's no need to statically assign a single application to a single button. However, it is an option if you'd like. So let's get into it. As you can see here and reflected in the Windows Volume Mixer, we have numerous applications, and you can see not all of them are shown here on the Stream Deck. Um, that is because I have them blacklisted, and I'll show you the blacklisting feature here shortly. Before I do, let's just cover some of the basics. So the application placeholder is these two action icons you see here, and essentially as an application is opened, uh, it will occupy these spots. Let's, uh, let's start with Spotify. So when Spotify is opened and Spotify begins playing sound, uh, that is an important note. Uh, you can see here that Spotify is actually yet to even be in our volume mixer. Um, some applications do this differently in terms of when they open up um, an audio session with the operating system. Um, so in the case of Spotify, it isn't until music is started playing. So if I go ahead and start playing, you can see here that Spotify now occupies a spot on the stream deck. So, we can go ahead and actually select Spotify here. Once Spotify is selected, we're given the ability to change volume. Let's go volume down, mute, and even volume up, even after being muted. Deselect. We can do this with any of these applications, and you can see that the uh, volume keys change their position not to block the one they are currently selecting. Um, and so the feature you actually saw right there, if we go ahead and take a look into our settings here, is this one right here, inline controls. So if we were to disable inline controls and go ahead and select, say, Spotify again, you can see we have no volume keys. And this is because we also have these action keys on the right. So we can go ahead and delete this application placeholder and go ahead and place a mute button. So with inline controls disabled, we can then go ahead and select this and then select mute and toggle that functionality um, without controls being dynamically populated on the Stream Deck. So if you prefer these to be in a fixed location, by all means, disable that setting and go ahead and pop in your volume controls. So one of the other settings we have here is the ability to statically set an application. So take Spotify, for example, let's move this to a more meaningful key, which is gonna be our first key. So I'll go ahead here and in the application list, we'll find Spotify. And you can see that all the application keys have now shuffled um, to allow Spotify to take that spot. And if we close Spotify, you can see Spotify over here in the volume mixer. Go ahead and close this, which will dismiss its session. Uh, we now get a grayscale icon taking its spot. So now no other application will occupy this spot, and this is now statically set to Spotify uh, for when it resumes. So let's go ahead and resume it by opening up the application and resume playback. And we can see now that Spotify uh, is now active again. Um, moving right along here in terms of settings, uh, now we're into global settings. So we have the option for our volume step, so we can go ahead and move this to say 20. And if we go ahead and select uh, and re-enable inline controls, that is, inline controls enabled and volume down, we're now moving by a volume step of 20. Then we have our blacklist. So you can see that um, we already have some items here added to our blacklist, but we can go ahead and actually uh, remove some of these. Um, so let's take, for example, Logitech Capture, remove this. So you can see that our keys shuffle around again um, and also give Logitech Capture this spot. Um, if we would like to re-add Logitech Capture back to our blacklist, we can go ahead and find the process name here and then click Add. However, there is a shortcut to this. If you go ahead and hold down the key for 1.5 seconds of the application you don't want and let go, it will automatically be added to the blacklist, as you can see here. So, um, yeah, that basically covers most of the settings that are available to you. Uh, there are a few convenience, uh, convenient buttons here available as well, such as refresh applications, which will update these lists with uh, available processes, and also the ability to reset all your settings. 
Some of the known limitations and issues with this are as follows. Uh, currently, this only supports a single page. You can't have application processes bleed onto a current, another page. Um, you can only have one of the same applications as static. Uh, and a single process with multi, multiple audio streams are conglomerated. And what do I mean by this? Um, so if we go ahead and take a look at our volume mixer here, you can see that we actually have two audio sessions for Discord. Um, one of this is for Discord notifications, and the other one is for um, you know Discord communications. Um, but there really, programmatically, is not a way to distinguish between these. Uh, so essentially, they're all conglomerated into one audio session um, under one process name. If I go ahead and select Discord here and control its volume, you can see that it's actually controlling both of those instances at once. You know, if I can do mute, mutes both as well. So this is the conglomeration that is done um, as there's no way to distinguish between these. Should you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding the plugin, feel free to reach out to me on GitHub or in the YouTube comments below.